How's it going everybody? Lucian Dev here bringing you another tutorial video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to set up Pterodactyl Panel. Uh, basically what this is, it's a open source game server manager. And what it does is basically allows you to manage one or more servers uh, with a wonderful web UI design uh, rather than just controlling everything from the back end like how all my other tutorial videos are. So to go ahead and get started, what we need to do is SSH into our server. All right, so what we need to do is go ahead and log in as root if you aren't logged in as root already. So in order to do that, I'm just going to do su uh, space dash. Now log me in as root after I put in the password for it. And now I'm logged in as root. Next thing I'm going to want to do is we're going to go to this website. Here is all the uh, operating systems that Pterodactyl will run on. For example, we got uh, Ubuntu 18.04, 20.04, and 22.04. And this particular tutorial, I am going to be using 20.04. And once you're on this website, don't worry, I will have the link in the description for it below. We're going to copy this command right here. And we're going to paste it in here and hit enter. Now, we have a couple options here. Uh, for this tutorial, I'm going to try to keep it as basic as possible. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and assume that you only have one server. So we're going to set up both panel and wings on the same server. You can separate these. But like I said, I'm trying to keep it as basic as possible. Choose option number two and then enter. All right, for the database name, I'm going to be leaving most of this stuff as default. So for database name, panel will be just fine. The username will be pterodactyl. That's also just fine. I am going to put in my own password. And then for the time zone, you put in whatever time zone that you're in. I'm going to be in America slash Chicago. Enter on that. And then for the Let's Encrypt password, we're going to uh, just type, uh, I'm sorry, for Let's Encrypt email, just type in uh, whatever email you want that to be assigned to. And then the email address for the admin account, in my case, will be the same email. And then the account uh, name, I'm going to do uh, Lucian. And then the first name, Lucian, uh, last name is L. Uh, put whatever you want in these fields. For the admin uh, password, I'll do my password. Now for the FQDN, this is if you're setting up the uh, like if you're setting up the panel to work on a, a domain name. In our case, I'm assuming we're not we don't have a website, so we're going to use the IP address. So we're going to do the IP address of the server that we're currently installing everything on. In my case, it's a local. Uh, server. We're going to hit enter on that and then I'm going to want to automatically configure the firewall. A uh, little tip here, if you are setting up a DNS for Let's Encrypt, if you're using an IP address, it won't let you set up Let's Encrypt, which is totally fine because we don't need Let's Encrypt if we're just setting it up on the IP address like, like we are now on the, on the server. However, if you are doing a domain, please use Let's Encrypt, run through the installation process uh, for that. Uh, we're not going to get into that in this video, but we are going to want to configure the firewall. So I'm going to hit Y for yes and hit enter on that. And then I'm going to hit Y again and hit enter on that to confirm all the settings uh, up above. And then we're going to let that run through. All right, here it's asking us if we want to send anonymous data to Pterodactyl. In my case, I'm going to do no. Uh, if you want to, feel free to do yes, but once you uh, type in your answer, just hit enter. Okay, now that we are here, panel is uh, installed. Next, we need to install wings, so I'm going to type in Y for yes and hit enter. And again, for the firewall, I do want to hit Y for yes again as well. Uh, configure user and configure user for the database, we hit Y for that as well. Now this is to access the MySQL externally. In most cases, people running servers typically do want to do this. If you don't, feel free to hit N for no. In my case, I'm going to hit Y for yes. Then for the address, I'm going to leave that blank. This is to uh, open up the port for 336, which is the default port, 3306, sorry, is, which is the default port for MySQL. Again, I'm hitting Y for yes on that. Username, default pterodactyl user, just fine. Password, I am going to set my own password once again for this user. And for Let's Encrypt, um, since I'm using an IP address, I'm going to hit no. If you are using a domain, again, you're going to want to hit Y for that. But in my case, like I said, I'm hitting N for no. 
and then Y to proceed with the installation. And as you can see, Wings is successfully installed. To verify that, we can type in sudo Wings. There is not a configuration set up right now, but don't worry, we will get to that. So in order to get into that, what we're going to need to do is open up our web browser here, and we need to go to the IP address of our server. And then here, we're going to log in with the username and password that we used during the panel installation. And then from here, you're going to we want to go to admin. Then first thing we're going to do is set up a location. I live in the United States and the server is located in the United States. So we can hit create on that. And then we'll click on nodes. Hit create new. For the node name, feel free to call it whatever you want. Now for the uh, FQD, uh, FQDN, since we did not set this up on a domain address, we are going to use the IP address of the server. And since we're using an IP address on a domain, it's going to be a connection over HTTP and not SSL. And then this is going to be for the uh, amount of disk space and memory that this particular node has. We're not going to get into multi nodes. You can set up multiple nodes on multiple different servers. However, leaving this basic as possible. So we'll say uh, 20,000 uh, megabytes, which would be about 20 gigabytes, and 10 to 40 on the uh, memory here, uh, which is 10 gigabytes of RAM. Uh, use whatever resources your server has available. For the over allocation, I'm going to hit zero on that, and same thing with the uh, disk space. I'm going to leave the daemon port and the SFTP uh, port default. You can change them if you want, but in my case, there is no need to change them. I'm going to go ahead and create node. Then from here, you can go ahead and set up your allocations if you want to, which I will do right now myself. So since the node and the panel are the same thing, we're just going to type in the IP address that we're using. Then the ports, let's just use the Minecraft port at 25565. And then we're going to hit submit. So now this is uh, whenever you uh, want to add servers, you need to have these allocations for the port for each server, which we'll get into in the next video. Once you got your port set up, if you set up ports, you can skip this part if you want to. Important thing is, is to go to configuration. And then on the right, you hit generate token. We're going to select all this, copy it. We're going to go back to our server here and we're going to paste it in and then hit enter. Do system um, CTL start wings. And then to make sure it's running, we can do system CTL status wings. And as you see here, it says active running. So we'll hit control C to close that out. We can minus this now. And then we can hit OK on that. And then if we go to nodes, you can see we have a green uh, heartbeat indicating that it is online and it's, it's running. And that's everything to do with setting up the panel and your first node. In the next video, I will show you guys how to set up your first server uh, using Minecraft as an example. That's going to be it for this video. I appreciate you guys watching and I'll see you on the next one.